So I'm playing Jeremy Camp, um, who is a real life person. Um, yeah, Jeremy is a musician. Uh, he grew up in Indiana and uh, he has a, a crazy story to tell the world. I think, you know, what drew me to the character was more the relationship he had with Melissa um, and the love that they shared. And I think it was, it was really the love story between them that, that drew me to the story and drew me to the character. What's special and what's unique about their love story is that, um, you know, the love is put to the test through what, what Melissa goes through and, and Jeremy, um, you know, sticking by her side the whole time. You know, he tells her throughout the movie, every step, every moment, I'm with you. And uh, he does exactly that. You know, that's what this movie is about, is, is, is journeying through your biggest fear and disappointment and coming coming out the other side still believing. Oh, well music is, um, is, was my first love, you could say. Um, I grew up in a really musical household. My dad kind of was, you know, the one who inspired me with music. Uh, he, plays the, he plays a lot of instruments. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of, it keeps me, um, keeps me grounded. I think uh, it's the one thing that, that is always exciting to me, is music. Um, Hearing a new song or hearing, hearing something, anything new is, is the one thing that just never gets old to me. Working with Gary was a dream. Um, I feel like I've been extremely lucky in you know, my career, my very short career so far. The parents that I've been blessed with uh, to, to play my parents has been, has been crazy. Um, so to have Shania and, uh, and Gary there with me was was unreal, seriously unreal. I used to watch Gary on TV as a kid. My, my parents used to watch CSI. I remember walking in their room and, and seeing him as a really young kid. One of the first, you know, um, moments of me like kind of watching TV was watching Gary. So, you know, meeting him for the first time was, was awesome. And he's a really humble, humble guy. Being a part of I Still Believe has inspired me hugely um, in more ways uh, than one. I think it's definitely, you know, I. I didn't even really know what faith looked like until I, until I did this movie, until I met Jeremy and, and learned about his story. Um, I didn't know someone could be that, could have that much faith in God. Um, and it's inspiring, that it's seriously inspired me. Um, and also the, the music side of stuff uh, is a really special, uh, holds a really special place in my heart for me too. Every time I hear that music, it, it gives me um, it gives me the goosebumps, so that's always a good thing. But yeah, I, I, this is an experience that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Um, so far, definitely, definitely the most important project that I've been a part of. Um, definitely a project that I want everyone to see. I think I'm, I'm really proud of it. I've never been so proud of my life of anything that I've ever done. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, that's, that's how important this, this thing is to me. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think no matter who you are, watching I Still Believe, I believe that anyone, everyone can relate to this film because it's a story about love, loss, and, and hope. Um, and I think as a human, that's part of everyday life for us. It's, uh, we all suffer, we all experience loss, we all experience love, and we will all experience hope. And I think, you know, this movie encompasses all of those ideas. But at the end of the day, this movie is uh, a story about two people, uh, mostly two people. There's, there's a lot of other people involved, but um, I think, you know, the, the basis and the foundation of this film is about Jeremy and uh, Melissa and the love between them and, and the battle that they go through together and how it, how it affects the people around them, how it affects uh, their faith. Working with Brett, wow. Um, honestly, could not, you know, I honestly couldn't imagine working with anyone else other than Brett for this for this movie. Um, it's one of those things where you, you, I'm looking back on it, and there is no way anyone else could have played that role. There's no way. Um, she's a very rare person, uh, Brett. Uh, Brett. She. 
it's very rare to be to be able to work with someone like that. I think who who has no ego, um, who doesn't take herself seriously all the time, and it's all about the work. And she's so passionate about the story. Uh, we both are, which I think made it really special. Um, and I think myself, Brett, Andy, and John, our directors, uh, really early on developed a really awesome relationship where we could kind of bounce off each other, figure things out. And because they're super collaborative and me and Brett are super collaborative, um, it created such an amazing environment for everyone to be able to, to think, wow, okay, this is like, this is a, everyone's open to ideas and stuff. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I think that's the best way to work. I think as soon as you have someone who has too much of an ego, it can kill, kill ideas really quickly. Um, but yeah, Brett is, is seriously a, a very phenomenal human being and a, and a great actress and I feel super, super blessed to be able to work with her. I think uh, whether you're a fan of me or not, I, I, I hope that um, you know, any, someone can take anything from this film, whether it's uh, from a different part, you know, different parts of, of the story or if it's from Jeremy's story, if it's from Melissa's story. I think there's so many relatable qualities of this film um, that it's going to be really tough to walk out not feeling anything. And I think that's something that we've executed pretty well uh, without really even trying. It's, this, it's just because of, because of the story, I still believe, is that there's no doubt that people are going to be walking out of that theatre not feeling anything because that's what this movie's all about. It's about feeling, it's about faith, it's about hope, love, loss, redemption, um, and God. But most importantly, love. Hey, stay with me for more on rom-com movies and last minute name chasers. Crazy Stupid Love almost wasn't Crazy Stupid Love. The studio wanted to be called Wingman. Hmm. Now, Fifty First Dates almost wasn't Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Kisses was actually the original title. However, marketing found that the term kisses was turning off guys, so they changed it to Fifty First Dates. Remember to click here below subscribe and to tap the bell to always receive the latest trailers.